Hi folks, Rosalind Gardner here. I wanted to address the concerns of those of you who think that affiliate marketing is going to tank in 2009. It is not. As a matter of fact, the picture looks much rosier than you might otherwise think. Um, and the reason for that, the reason I believe that, is that a survey done uh, by June McKinsey and Company indicated that 91% of senior level marketing executives who were, were surveyed indicated that they were going to maintain or increase their online advertising spend uh, in 2009. And why is that a good thing? Well, because these guys know that in top economic times, people want to spend their money wisely, what little money they have. They want to spend it wisely. And where do people go to do research to find out where the best price is? Online. So that's, um, that bodes well for affiliate marketers, right? If you know how to bring traffic to your website, you can make the sale, right? There's, there's lots of different ways to do that. Um, the only people uh, or the only affiliates that should be slightly concerned and, and who should be looking to revise some of their methods or expand their methods of marketing will be strict PPC affiliates or pay-per-click advertising affiliates, those who send their traffic from Google AdWords directly to a merchant site, um, their keyword costs are going to go up. So you might want to look at expanding um, your marketing methods. Now, the primary thrust in 2009, and who, who knows, let's hope it doesn't go much beyond that, is going to be consumer thrift. People, um, people who are losing their jobs and just don't have as much money to spend are going to be looking for the best deals, as I mentioned before. And there's ways as an affiliate that you can, you know, there's specific niche, niche markets that you may want to address, um, and just, you know, a little bit more creative thinking. And uh, for instance, I was talking with a friend of mine this morning, Don, he works for a car parts store here in town. And what he said was that business is booming. And the reason for that, of course, is because people aren't buying new cars. What they're doing is they're fixing their old cars. And as an affiliate, you can sell car parts. Um, eBay, eBay is the world's, you know, is and was the largest, uh, world's largest marketplace. It's going to explode in 2009. People who are looking to, to make a little bit more money are going to go into the garages and into their basements and they're going to start pulling the stuff out and they're going to sell it online. People who want to get a better price, people with money to spend are going to be looking at getting really, really good deals on eBay. As an affiliate, you can benefit from that. Um, Another niche that is not affected during hard times is health because, you know, people have health concerns. Um, it doesn't matter what the economy is doing. People have health concerns continuously. Um, and one of the ways that you can benefit as an affiliate from that fact is that um, you can sell health insurance. And, of course, with people losing their jobs, more and more people are going to be seeking out health insurance. And, ha and if you can find... Um, a way for them to get a better price on it and a you know a better package bonus right be able to you know to share that with them now as I advocate in the super affiliate handbook and on my site at netprofitstoday.com the the best way to um, to put your offers out there is through a blog and through using real honest reviews that um, you know you've got experience with the product or um, you know, you know of somebody with experience with the product, better if you have the experience with the product, you write a review. And the, the beauty of the blog is that people can leave comments and they can support your um, support and um, give credence to what you've said in your review. So the, the more the merrier, right? The more you get people discussing and, um, and communicating and participating on your blog, in the blog comment section, without the spam, um, the better. So that's what caused, that's what gives you conversions, higher conversions. And what you want to do is make the most of every, every single visitor that comes to your site in terms of conversions, right? So then you don't have to spend a lot of money on bringing traffic to the site. Just work with the traffic that you do have. And of course, email marketing is another good way of doing that. Make sure that people, make sure first of all that you have a newsletter sign up form and that people are actually that you've got some incentive for people to sign up and that you are working that traffic, right? Like if you find a new deal, send out an email. So, you know, key thing, social marketing, social media marketing, 
and converting your traffic spending trying to spend less money on advertising by using long tail keywords and 2009 it'll be bright and rosy as ever maybe even brighter and rosier than ever anyway my best uh, wishes to you for success in 2009